Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for right around the 9th. Let's just see what comes up. You know that the timing is fluid. We've talked about that. So let's just see what we got. What do we have? What do we have? What's coming up? Moving on. Absolutely. We got somebody here that is moving on. They're leaving the trouble behind, right? Getting to a better place. This is a transition. This is the rite of passage. Coming out of, you know, the troubled waters, getting to a better place, going to a more peaceful place. Headed towards peace and harmony and balance. So that is the energy. Moving on. Getting to that better place. There could also be a spiritual wake-up call. Whatever is happening is happening to get your life back on track. So there's some forward movement for sure. We have a transition. That is a card of transition. Change in the home, change in an establishment. This could be the end of a family legacy. This could be um, a loss, okay? It's a big loss by the looks of things. Ten of Pentacles reversed. There's been some sort of family drama or a family feud. It's about to end because somebody's leaving. And they may be leaving in a way that you did not expect. Ooh, it's been a constant battle with this Five of Wands reversed. A constant. This is somebody who is just exhausted and fed up. This is unrealistic. There's no growth. Right? I mean, the seven of coins. I don't want to invest in this. It's dead. It's time to pack up and plant your seeds someplace else. Start over someplace else. Now, this is a card of partnership, union, compatibility. This is partnership. But that doesn't mean that there's a new partnership coming in considering the cards around it. Okay? It looks to me like we, I mean, I'm fed up. I'm fed up with this partnership. I'm fed up with this union. There's no growth here. Five of Swords, this is severing ties. This is defeat, walking away. This is non-negotiable, right? It's non-negotiable. It's a hostile situation. It's been a real battle, a seriously battlefield. We have a battlefield here. Somebody may have even committed some crimes or a crime. Oh my God, Three of Swords, Three of Swords reverse. This is, it's time to leave the past hurts behind. It's time to leave this whole painful situation behind. There's probably been a separation or there's been a separation that has been needed for a while. It's time to release this pain. This is releasing pain. This is on the path to recovery. So somebody is basically severing ties with a painful situ a painful union, a painful partnership. Maybe it was somebody that they were married to. Doesn't have to be married. It's definitely a partnership. 
it's been a it's been a lose lose situation. It really has. Somebody could be losing it all with the ten of when the ten of coins comes out and reversed, and that is the first card. This is losing it all, your home and your partner. I'm I'm sorry to give, I mean, this reading will not be for every single person. You could be watching this happen to somebody else. There's been a lot of power struggles here with these two cards. There's been adversity. There's been conflict and there's been some massive arguments and fighting within the family. It all has to do with the family. This is a family feud. The very first card, family drama. It's time to pack up. It's time to go someplace else. It's time to move on. It's I gotta go. I'm fed up. I'm exhausted. I can't do this anymore. I have no fight left. There's been a full scale battle, or there is one that is coming up. There could be. I mean, this this could be a. a Well, you know what it could be. This is war. Just saying. This is relocation. So somebody may be relocating to fight. <laughs> Hate to say that. Even though they say there's not going to be a war, there certainly could. I think there's going to be. Put it that way. Anyway, um, that's just my take on it. But as far as your personal life goes... There is a change in the family dynamics. There's been some sort of family uh, situation that has been very tense. There's been a lot of tension. There's been a lot of bickering. There's been a lot of fighting. There's been a lot of back and forth about who's right, who's wrong. I win, you lose. <laughs> that worked out, didn't it? Anyhow, um, Given up, not putting in effort, not even going to try anymore. Somebody is totally giving up. They're giving up on the family. They're giving up on, you know, building. I'm not going to even work on this anymore. Definitely. Done. It's very unstable. It's insecure now. It's definitely insecure. Somebody just can't give it any more energy. Not interested. I'm not even interested in this family drama, this family feud anymore. I'm severing ties. I don't care if we have a bond. This is a bond. Yes, there's a bond, but this is too much. It is really too much. It hurts too much. This is too painful. Ooh, Queen of Swords reversed. Now, the Queen of Swords reversed is a bitter individual. Nasty, vindictive, and revengeful. This could be uh, the wicked stepmother. This is somebody who is wicked. She doesn't love. She doesn't even know what love is. She's selfish, and she's mean-spirited. She's a bitch. Nobody really likes her. Some people might be scared of her, but nobody likes her. This is a nasty woman. Very nasty. God is watching her, though. It's funny where I put that. I never know where I'm going to put the cards. Oh, she's been teaming up, right? She's been trying to prove something. We have this nasty, wicked individual who's been trying to prove something. She's been causing a lot of tension. Trying to get people to work with her.
But it's time to look forward now. It's time to move on. This isn't going to happen. We This person has been calculating. She's been calculating a plan, scheming up a plan, trying to get somebody to work with her. But the Seven of Pentacles reversed. This is not going to happen. It's not going to work out. The Four of Cups reverse. This is seeing a new opportunity. This is somebody in this dynamic that is, is waking up and they're seeing something. They're seeing something about this person. They're seeing that this person is vindictive. This person is seeing something that they had missed before. They had missed it, but now they're seeing it. Now this is a time of healing. It's a time of protection. Somebody be, may be wanting to protect another person. This is a, a card of hope, a time of inspiration, and a time of healing. It's time. It's time to heal. This is this is a heaven. This is a sign from heaven. This is a, a card from heaven. Okay. This is a sign that heaven is involved. Okay. Um, we have somebody here that is being protected from this wicked witch. This is protection. It is. It feels like somebody is being sent in a new direction. They're being guided in a new direction. This is somebody's getting their prayers answered. They may have asked for something. Somebody has asked for something and their prayers are going to be answered. And this person is jealous. Very jealous. We have a jealous per person that is is jealous of another person's. It could be. It could be. This person could be a star. This cursed person could be shining. This person is um, very bright. Very. This could be a public speaker. This is somebody that um, we have somebody here that is very jealous of this bright, shining. This is an individual, I believe. This person is looking for any opportunity to steal this person's light. This is a wish that is being granted. Somebody again. I, mean, I know I'm going all over the place, but this is somebody's wish is being granted. Somebody may have been wishing for this wicked witch to be out of their life. If that's the case, your wish is my command. Wow, somebody has no faith in God, okay? They have no faith in a higher power. They don't believe. There's a lack of believing. There's a lack of faith. That person that doesn't believe and doesn't have faith is probably losing or missing or big loss here. Huge loss for the person that doesn't believe. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to tell. I'm not a preacher. You can believe whatever you want, but I'm just saying uh, this, is a, this is a higher power. I know there's a higher power involved here. I'm positive. It's like, the, but we have somebody here that doesn't have any faith, that doesn't believe. The person that believes is getting their prayers answered. Anyway, the the faith card in reverse, or the Hierophant in reverse, is somebody that is not spiritual. Somebody's relationship is not on the same page. We already talked about that. This is also a father figure who is having a hard time doing the right thing because of society. This person is under a lot of social pressure. Could be from his wife, who's wicked. Doesn't have to be, but I'm just saying. 
anyhow, anyhow, um, this is an, this is an abuse of power. Um, this is, uh, being disgraced. Somebody may end up being disgraced and they've been fighting authority. They've been, and the Hierophant is the highest authority, the highest, even higher than the emperor because it's a godly energy. So somebody has been trying to fight, um, authority. Okay. And authority always wins. That's funny. What did I say at the beginning? I win, you lose. Interesting. Anyhow, um, somebody's lack of faith and their inability to make the right decisions because of social pressure, pressure is going to cause them to experience a loss. This Ten of Coins in reversed is huge. And I mean big. And it's financial. Okay? It's a big, huge financial loss. They could lose their job. They could lose a very big job. They could lose their home. They could lose their partner. They, it's like losing it all. And what's the opposite of, of God is the devil. Okay. It's heaven or hell. Somebody chose the social pressure. They chose to feed their ego. They chose to manipulate. They chose to cling to control. They chose ego over kindness. Over giving. Anyhow, let's get back to reality here. Let's get back to the the cards, please. Um, this is an answer. Somebody's prayers are about to be answered. It's time to leave these past hurts behind. It's time to heal from this family dilemma. And work with somebody else. There's also a new union here with that Two of Cups. There's a new union that is coming. A new partner. Somebody that you have asked for. Somebody that you have wished for. And this is being brought to you. This is this is being brought to you from above. Somebody, I feel, I feel like it's somebody that has passed away. That is guiding somebody to you. So there is a new union here. There is. There is. There's a divorce or a split, okay, as well, okay, with this. There's a, there's a relationship that is no longer on the same page, and somebody is deciding, they're, they're accepting it. This is acceptance, okay, they're accepting it, and they're moving on. And perhaps this relationship has been, there's been a separation, for some of you, there's been, already been a separation for a long time. You've already been separated. Maybe you've been separated for two years or three years or whatever. And finally, you've healed. Because this is big time healing right here. Finally, you've healed. And now, somebody is entering your life. There is a new partnership here. There is. Somebody is moving towards a union that is more compatible with somebody that will actually work with them. Okay? So I feel like we have a severing of ties. It's a surrender, okay? It's surrendering to the defeat. It's surrendering to the divine. It's surrendering to what is. Oh, look at that. The Wheel of Fortune. This is, this is, this is destiny. It's destined change, of course. This is good luck. This is a new cycle that is beginning. This is positive change that is coming. Everything is always changing. The wheel is always spinning. This is constant motion. Somebody may be in the right place at the right time and it changes their life. It changes their life forever. 
So be prepared. This is something that really is positive change. Somebody is seizing a new opportunity with someone new and finally leaving the past hurts behind. This conflict is coming to an end. Because somebody is turning their back for good. And there's definitely a higher power involved that is guiding this person out of this troubled situation. We're going to get one of these really quick. So yeah, we have movement, okay? There is movement, and there's a lot of healing, okay? Somebody is going to be shining very, very brightly. This is, this is a star. This is shining bright, okay? Home. I knew it has. There's definitely somebody has to do with their home. Somebody has something to do with their. There's going to be a change on the home front. There absolutely is. No doubt about it. Something to do with family and home. In the context of this teaching, let's use the word home to describe your unconscious ability to attract intimate partners with the positive and negative qualities your parents instilled in you. This card honors the wounded child in you that keeps recreating home, hoping to get your childhood developmental codependency needs met. You may even provoke the other to act or look like your original parent. In a world where so many of our natural emotions were not encouraged and worse yet suppressed, you are now encouraged to feel the feelings trapped inside you and that consistently sabotage your life. For some of us, home was an amazing, empowering, and happy place. But for most of us, it was lacking. There was unease and hurt. This is imprinted on your nervous system, which forces the dysfunction you had with your parents to rise to the surface with your current partner and the people close to you. So this is about healing your inner child. And it's about not repeating the same patterns. It's about building the home that you want. Building the family that, and, and with the ideals that you create. Not what your parents created. This is the end of a family dynamic. I'm sure of it. Somebody is leaving their family behind to recreate someplace else. Good luck.